Michael Gunner on the attack this morning. Ash really fired up asking and demanding answers from the CLP opposition over their election costings. Michael Gunner is putting his hopes on the voters in the Northern Territory, backing in his strong response to coronavirus, that hard border closure that is in place. But some voters pushing back saying it needs to be about more than just his record on handling coronavirus, what happened in the years prior to that. But nonetheless, Michael Gunner on the attack this morning against his CLP opponent. Come clean. Tell Territorians what you've promised. You should be able to add it up. Now, if you can't add up, you can't govern. You should be able to add it up. Then you should tell Territorians what it is. And then, after you've told Territorians how much you've promised, tell them what you're going to cut, sack or sell. Well, Leah Finocchiaro spent the morning in Palmerston. She cast her ballot early. She's one of over a third of Territorians who've already done so with just four days to go until this election. She wasn't having any of those attacks from Michael Gunner, though, saying in good time they will be able to provide the costings when they have their hands on the Treasury analysis. The Chief Minister is playing cheap politics this election. He has spent the entire election campaign hiding from debates, running away from Territorians and not talking about his plans for the future. And that's because he doesn't have any. His record is indefensible and that's why we don't see much of the Chief Minister. I spent the morning in Palmerston, which is a satellite city just 30 minutes south of Darwin. Voters there mixed in their views on the Gunner government. It's not traditionally a Labor area, but back in 2016 in the Labor landslide, it was an area that Labor was able to gain ground. Will they be able to hold it this time round? Have a look at what the voters think. I think they've all done a good job. The rest of it, what was before a couple of years, he done nothing, so very hard to choose. Oh, mate, we ain't got it up here. Keep it like that. I think CLP, but they'll have to form some kind of coalition with, with Terry Mills' party. I think they've done a reasonably good job, but uh, keep the borders shut. I'll be going independent. I'll be voting for Kezia. I prefer CLP because uh, Leah, I like the way she talks. She's firm, straight to the point. Ash, unlike in a lot of other areas in Palmerston, the pre-poll centres are actually inside shopping malls and as a result they're not allowing anyone to hand out how to vote cards or flyers or anything like that. But here we are in Darwin, this is one of the biggest pre-poll centres. People certainly pressing the flesh here, handing out how to vote cards as they try and race to what's going to be a very competitive election. The countdown is on. Trudy McIntosh live in Darwin, thank you. And make sure you tune in here to Sky News at 1.30 Australian Central Time tomorrow for the only televised debate of the 2020 Northern Territory election. Chief Minister Michael Gunner will go head-to-head -head with his Liberal and Territory Alliance contenders at the exclusive Sky News NT News Leaders debate.